Hey everybody, Steve Looney here from GraphicDesignerTips.com. This is episode number 18 of my new Adobe Illustrator CC 2014 series. And in this episode, I'm going to be going over the lasso tool. Now, just like in my episode number 17, where I went over the magic wand tool, the lasso tool, many designers are familiar with the lasso tool and what it does in Adobe Photoshop. Now, they wouldn't call it the lasso tool if it didn't do something very similar to what Photoshop does uh, or it would just obviously confuse the heck out of all of us. So the lasso tool is a tool that I don't use very often, but when I do, it saves me a lot of time. You know, there's some tools you may never use in here. There's some tools you may use every once in a while, but you know, that's the reason these programs keep growing with more tools and uh, to make your time more efficient. So the big difference between the lasso tool in Illustrator as opposed to Photoshop is because Photoshop works with pixels. It's a raster based program. Illustrator works with vectors. So you're basically going to be able to lasso over points in any type of a design. So this is going to be a real quick tutorial uh, because once you see what happens, you're, you're honestly going to just, it's going to click. But basically right under the direct selection arrow is the lasso tool. You can also hit Q as a keyboard command shortcut to get to that. Now, before I get into the lasso tool, we're going to hit A on our keyboard to get to the direct selection right above it. And this is what would normally happen or, or many of us are normally used to. If you want to select a point, you know, you might click down, hold and mark key and, and select your points and, and pull them and do whatever you want. Okay. But you know, say I want to get to an inside point. I literally have to click this point perfectly and move it or for multiple points, click one, hold shift, two, three, four, and then pull them out. And that's not time, time consuming. And if you notice on here, what happened when I go like this, the other parts of this burst did not select those. So there's no way I can do that without hovering over and marquee because it's going to marquee the hidden ones right underneath it. So if it doesn't make any sense. Just play around and then you'll understand, uh, you know, with your own designs. But that's what's going to happen with the direct selection. Or what you can do is you can select I marquee and then hold shift and then start clicking away points and these points won't move. So you're actually deselecting at that point. So what the lasso tool on the other hand allows us to do, it allows us to come into our design and watch what happens when you click. Okay. Nothing. All right. Click and hold down. It's going to draw just a little, this isn't actually drawing, you know, it looks like it's in black. It's not going to leave any marks. It's just saying whatever is in this area that I select, is going to be selected. So say I come into each circle or burst or whatever you want to call it. And I come into here with the lasso tool and I hover over these points. All right. You see it's selected all the points in there. I'm going to hold shift. I'm going to do it again over here. Two, three, and four. Okay. And now you hit A on your keyboard to get your direct selection and now you move everything, okay? That's what the lasso tool is gonna allow you to do. It doesn't have any other special options, it's just for selecting points. But, like I said, if you come in here with the direct selection and you try to get this point, if I click here, oh, the whole thing's gonna move. Oh, the whole thing's gonna move. But if I back up and I hit that lasso tool, oh, the whole thing didn't move. It's going to allow me to select what I want to, direct selection, and move it as I please. So, that's a quick video on the lasso tool. Uh, if you didn't know it, now you know it, and you have any questions about it, comments, uh, what you like to use it for, or you just want to say hi, uh, put them in the comments below, and definitely um, share this video out, and subscribe to my channel if you're just finding this series. My name is Steve Looney, everybody, from GraphicDesignerTips.com. I hope you have a wonderful night. Peace.